Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to Girls School. Welcome to Match Week 14 predictions for the Championship. It's another round of games for the Championship. This time, midweek fixtures are being brought to you. And hopefully, we have another entertaining round of Championship action. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on all 12 games uh, going ahead this midweek. Of course, it is bonfire night as well, so hopefully you guys all stay safe and well for that one as well. And enjoy the fireworks. And uh, while you're down there, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. We are still going for 2k subscribers by Christmas Day. We are about 55 away from that target at the time of recording. So be sure to help us on our way because it's going to be very close to see if we can hit it or not. Share the channel around and it'll be very much appreciated um, to help the community out. So thank you very much in advance. First game to predict then is Bristol City hosting Sheffield United. Now this is a tricky one to predict because neither side have lost many games this season. However, Bristol City have drawn quite a few, which is why they are where they are in the championship. They uh, give a, a few solid performances and just haven't quite been able to get on the right side um, and the winning side of some of them games. As for Sheffield United, last time out, it was a way victory, uh, much needed away to Blackburn. In this one, I think it'll be a very close game. I would not be surprised if this one was a draw. I'm just going to go Sheffield United with the quality in that squad to get a 1-0 win away at Ashton Gate. This one could be really, really close. Um, I don't think Bristol City win it, but they could definitely get a point. This one could go either way, uh, but 1-0 Sheffield United is my prediction. Oxford host Hull next, and it's two sides that will be disappointed over the weekend. Oxford lost their first game at the Kassam this season to my team Swansea, to our delight. As for Hull, of course, they were uh, held to a 1 1 draw at home against Portsmouth, which they'll be disappointed. Uh, they'll be disappointed that they couldn't get the three points in that one. In this game, I think both sides to score, neither side to get uh, more than a point from it. 1 1 in this one at the Kassam. QPR versus Middlesbrough next, and Middlesbrough, um, so inconsistent, aren't they? They really are. Uh, they don't draw in many games, so either winning or losing. As for QPR, a 0-0 draw against Sunderland, which is not a bad result at home at all. Um, so QPR do seem to be getting a few decent draws at the moment. Just can't quite get the win in this one. I think that changes and they get the 2-1 win over Middlesbrough. That's a shock prediction for this match week. Moving on, we go to Sheffield Wednesday hosting Norwich. And two sides that lost last time out. Norwich somehow lost uh, and conceded two goals in the last few moments away to Cardiff. Uh, to lose that one, having been won a lot for majority of the second half. As for Sheffield Wednesday, last time at home, they got lost 6-2 to Watford. What a game that would have been uh, for a neutral watching that one um, to advertise the championship. But in this one, I think Sheffield Wednesday's confidence will be very low. I think Norwich get back to winning ways in this one. They're more favourable to bounce back, in my opinion. I think they win 3-1 over at Hillsborough. Moving on to one of the biggest games of this match week. It is Plymouth hosting Portsmouth at home park. And when you say that last bit at home park, it's really hard to look past the hosts, Plymouth. Because at home park, they are very solid. And it's where they're going to pick up majority of their points this season. If not all of them, because their away record is hanging. It is awful. As for the visitors, Portsmouth, it was a good point away to Hull at the weekend. In this one, though... I think it'll be a very close game. I think looking back at the head-to-head -head on these uh, on this fixture, and a lot of the games have ended 2-2, very close like that. I was going to go 4-3 Plymouth, but I've ended up going 3-2 Plymouth in this one. I think there's going to be goals. I think that is guaranteed in this one. What should be a 0-0 now? But no, I think Plymouth win 3-2 at home park. Something like a late winner once again. Um, dramatic limbs there, but... I'd love to give Portsmouth something in this one, but against Plymouth at home park, you know, it's like a fortress at the moment. And I think Plymouth will win 3-2 in this one. Moving on, we go to Swansea versus Watford. And we scored a goal, but Watford scored six away to Sheffield Wednesday. Um, and, of course, their home, they're away from, sorry, Watford so far this season. Hasn't been great. And then just score six away to, to Hillsborough uh, against Sheffield Wednesday. And then they play the Swans, so... This one is going to be a very interesting game. But I'm going to back the Swans. Of course I am. 2-1 to the Swans in this one. 
Uh, whether I feel confident in saying it, not really, but um, I'm going with it. I'm sticking with it. I'm not going to change my mind now. Swans 2-1 um, on Tuesday night. Up next, we go to Millwall versus Leeds. Millwall just beat Burnley 1-0. A very good result. And Millwall are quietly climbing up that table in this one against Leeds, who uh, just beat Plymouth 3-0 at home at the weekend. I think, you know, Leeds are the favourites to this one. And I think they will get the job done 2-0 away to Millwall. Up next, we go to Blackburn hosting Stoke in this one. Now, Blackburn, of course, last time out got their first home defeat of the season, having started so, so well at home. Uh, finally uh, fell to defeat at the hands of Sheffield United last time out. In this one, they host Stoke, who, um, under the new manager, have really started to improve. And it was a great result last time out at home against Derby. Away from home in this one, I think it'll be a very close game. But Blackburn to get the win 2-1, just about getting the three points at home at Ewood Park. Moving on, we go to Coventry, hosting Derby in this one. And it's two sides that have, um, well... You'd probably expect Coventry to do be, be doing a bit better than Derby so far this season, but it's actually flipped the roles, and Derby have actually been quite impressive so far after the opening day of the season. As for Coventry, they seem to start be uh, to, to start building up that confidence and start building up um, the, the results and the points on the table. In this one, I think it will be a close game, nevertheless, at the CBS. But Coventry to win two one at home. And moving on, we go to Luton, hosting Cardiff in this one. And fair play, good job that Omar Reza is doing at Cardiff. Uh, as for Luton, it just seems like nothing's going their way so far this season. Um, of course, the, the Derby Day victory against Watford will help Rob Edwards by a little bit of time, but not too much in this one. I think they've got to win. I think they will just about 1-0. I'm not too confident in saying that because I think Cardiff will score. But I think it'll be a very close game. 1-0 Luton in this one. Moving on, we go to Preston hosting Sunderland. This is a big, big game because Sunderland dropped points at the weekend. And of course, still sit top of the table. But they won't really want to um, allow a gap to uh, be closed by themselves dropping points. They want everyone else to play chase uh, to them, really. For Preston at the weekend, quite disappointing against Bristol City. Although that first goal for Bristol City was a handball. But I'm sure Preston will get lucky some point this season, hopefully for them. Uh, maybe in the reverse fixture, get a bit of revenge. Uh, in this one, I think it'll be a three-goal thriller. Sunderland to win it 2-1 away at Deepdale. And the final game to predict is West Brom hosting Burnley. Burnley have been quite disappointing in recent weeks. They're not really creating much or doing much with the ball when they get forward. As for West Brom, um, in sort of a, a goal drought at the moment, they did score against Luton, but weren't too convincing. In this one, I can see a nil-nil draw playing out at the Hawthorns. And that's my prediction. Well then, guys, there are my predictions for this midweek. Uh, match week 14 of the Championship. If you did go on to enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as always. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And uh, watch out on the channel for uh, the match day vlog between Swansea and Watford as well. Be uploading that one probably late Tuesday, early uh, Wednesday morning. So keep an eye out for that one as well. And I'll see you in the next video very soon, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a great bonfire, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.